One of the most bizarre trends that has taken Japan by storm over the past few years has been that of yeba. This refers to what Americans would call the sharpening of teeth on both sides of the mouth in order to make them sharper and more like a snaggle tooth. Numerous young women are getting the operation to make their teeth sharper, as they believe it will show them as more attractive to potential suitors. The operation is fairly inexpensive, however, with it often costing around $4 per tooth. It has been difficult for historians to pinpoint the origin of the trend, though it seems to have massive staying power. A number of odd gifts can be found in Japan, including the odd pillow known as the Hizamakura, a relaxing bed accessory that is shaped and modeled after the legs of a woman who is sitting on her feet. The trend of Hizamakura pillows started in 2004 and have only grown in popularity all across the country. The creator of the pillow, Makoto Igarashibi, says that the Hizamakura is a pillow capable of healing powers because it can strip away your loneliness. While we don't quite understand why loneliness is cured by sleeping in a fake stranger's fake lap, we also won't judge. The pillows have been widely sought out as novelty gifts since their original debut on the market. Known for their relentless work ethic, the Japanese have also taken strides into providing their employees with multiple means of catching sleep in between production. They allow some of their workers to sleep on the job, as being tired is a sign that they have been working very hard. But in public transit, such as on the subways, they have even started implementing chin rests for snoozing passengers. With these comfortable devices, patrons of the subway can rest their heads as they stand on the train, allowing them to catch some quick Zs before arriving at their final destination. The workers of the subway regularly clean the public chin straps, so disease and sweat do not become an issue for communal use. The Japanese have discovered a way to bypass all of that messy fiddling with someone's face when they have to put in eye drops. With the creation of funnel glasses, people who wear contacts can now quickly and easily drop in their solution into the top of the funnels and allow it to slowly trickle down directly into the cornea of the eye without any fidgeting. You just have to get over the fact that for a few seconds you're wearing giant funnels as a pair of glasses. While the craze is finally somewhat growing in the United States, it was Japan that created Cuddle Spaces, where professional cuddlers will give you close, non-sexual attention by providing you with a friendly embrace for a limited amount of time. The Sleep Together Shops, or better known as Sonias, first opened in 2012 and allowed paying customers to sleep next to other paying customers or individuals paid to provide specific attention to patrons. Since then, the shops have grown increasingly popular, while the fad of professional cuddling has grown even more with many app startups providing the service. This is where the US took the idea, and now professional cuddling is a service that is growing all over the world. The Japanese certainly have different food tastes than the rest of the world, and nowhere does that become more obvious than in their choices of ice cream flavors. While general favorites such as chocolate and vanilla are never in short supply, they also have the wonderful flavors of raw meat, octopus, cactus, sand, charcoal, and even horse meat. And don't be surprised if they top off the cone with a dollop of mayonnaise, as that is also a cultural favorite. Even so that they not only put it on ice cream, but also pizza, hot dogs, barbecue, and even in some soups. A painful if not incredibly useful Japanese invention is that of the pin snooze button alarm clock. The device is quite simple. At the top of the clock, a number of sharp nails or pins poke sharp side up into the air. At the center of the nails is a small opening with a tiny button that can only be pressed if one cautiously touches it. The clock was created to stop people from bashing their alarm clocks in a quick hit, allowing them to go back to sleep. Now if they are too fast to shut their alarms off, they'll get a painful jolt when their hands hit the nails. Or the act of painstakingly fitting their finger over the button will be enough to wake them up. Americans have their own version of the clock, but theirs requires them to solve a simple puzzle in order to get the alarm to stop buzzing, rather than inflicting what we can only imagine is a severely annoying pain. Though it's not as common as it was in ancient times, foreigners might come across some Japanese women who have dyed their teeth black for the sake of tradition. Japan's bizarre and rich history at one point dictated that white teeth were considered ugly, as they were easy to stain and difficult to maintain. The solution to this was to allow women to paint them black, and for a short period this was considered the attractive look. So if you ever see someone in Japan with black teeth, this is not the case of them being unhygienic, but rather living by ancient standards of beauty. Despite Japan's odd sexual politics and struggles with censored pornography, the public outlook on sex is fairly liberal, 
Japan has cities where condoms can be purchased from vending machines on the streets, and love hotels are a dime a dozen. In these hotels, individuals can rent rooms by the hour for the express purpose of sexual intimacy. The rooms oftentimes come with a theme, and the public perception of their existence is generally very positive. In the United States, it is extremely rare to encounter hotels or motels that charge by the hour, despite how often movies and television shows make the case otherwise. A phenomenon attached to Japan that is considered strange almost everywhere else in the world is that of adult adoption. In 2011, 93% of the adoptions that took place were of males who were between the ages of 20 and 30 years old. It is not out of the ordinary for adults to be adopted into families, as the idea of individuals passing on the family name is still considered very honorable. Most families or individuals who do the adopting were unable to produce a son. This trend has only continued on into 2016, where it is believed that the new adult adoption rate will hit an all-time high. And as we noted before, Japan's tastes can range from what we would consider ordinary to what others might consider baffling. Their adoption of bizarre Pepsi flavors might be a little weirder than what we're used to, but if Pepsi can condone it, who are we to judge? Travel to Japan to try out Japanese flavors like Salty Watermelon Pepsi, Strawberry Milk Pepsi, or White Yogurt Pepsi. Just don't sue us if it isn't your cup of tea.